So without any further ado, let's get into servicing. When we talk about servicing an F800, the first thing that we need to look at is the OEM recommended servicing schedule. In BMW's case, it's a series of four different services that run throughout the life of the motorcycle. The first one being a pre-delivery check which happens even before you take ownership of the motorcycle, followed by a running in check, also known as a 600 mile or 1000 kilometer service, a minor service which starts at 6000 miles or 10,000 kilometers and alternates with the major service which happens at 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers. Generally, after that major service, you're looking at another service, whether it be a minor and then a major and then a minor, every 6,000 miles or so. In regards to the new motorcycles which have the service indicator light, the motorcycle will let you know when it is due for service. So let's start talking about the pre-delivery check. This pre-delivery check, like I mentioned before, is completed by the BMW dealer prior to customer delivery. It consists of a few things. First and foremost is an uncrating, a damage check of the motorcycle, and motorcycle assembly. For instance, on the F800 SNST, the center panel actually is not bolted onto the bike when it arrives at the dealership. From there, they move on to charging of the battery, filling of the fuel tank, checking the tire pressure, and an engine suppression test which basically ensures that while your side stand is down, you're not able to ride off. They will complete a road worthiness test where they'll hop on the motorcycle and zoom around for a bit. And they will clean it prior to the final point in the check, which is the explanation of some of the features and functionality of the motorcycle prior to you receiving it and riding off into the sunset. Now prior to getting into the 600, 6,000, and 12,000 mile service overview, I want to let you know that there are checklists for each one of these services that are linked from and available for download in the f800riders.org Hall of Wisdom. If you have a little bit of time, I would suggest you go and print out a version of each before you continue further in the DVD. The first real service that you're going to have to deal with on an F800 is the running in check, which is also known as the 600 mile service or the 1000 kilometer service. Generally the big item on here is going to be an oil change and a filter replacement. Additionally the dealer will also check a bunch of a bunch of items on your motorcycle such as the clutch play, the coolant level, the tire pressure and the tread depth on the tires, uh, the lights and other signaling equipment, the, en the engine suppression system which is basically the side stand switch to make sure you can't ride off with the side stand down and various torque values on bolts and fasteners all over the motorcycle. Additionally, the dealer should also do a test ride on your motorcycle and hook it up to the GT1, uh, which is their computer system to make sure there's no codes on the motorcycle's computer system. Finally, they will do a confirmation in your owner's booklet that should give some sort of little sign off to notify you that the servicing is done. The next service you're going to have to worry about after your 600 mile running in check is a minor service. This service starts at 6,000 miles or 10,000 kilometers and continues every 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers afterward. It alternates with the major service which we'll talk about here in a moment. Generally this service is very similar to what you'll see in the 600 mile running in check. The major item being an oil change and a filter replacement. There are a few additional items that you're going to see the dealer needs to complete in order for this service to be finished. One is going to be the brake pads and discs get checked, and the tooth belt or chain gets checked here as well. Now the big item with servicing on every F800 is going to be this major service. Major services start at 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers and repeats every 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers afterward. This alternates with the minor service. So for instance, the minor service will happen at 6,000 and then at 18,000 miles. The major service will happen at 12,000 and again at 24,000 miles going forward. The big item on here isn't necessarily the oil change and filter replacement, 
like it is on the minor. This one also adds in an air filter change as well. The big item here is going to be this valve clearance check. It takes up quite a bit of time. It uses a few special parts which are only available via BMW dealers and honestly it's so complex that we're not even going to get into it on this video. In addition to the valve clearance check, there's also quite a few torque values that need to be checked by the dealer as well. But wait, that's not all. Every other major service, there are two items that need to happen too. A spark plug replacement every 24,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers, and a tooth belt and potentially damper replacement depending on the wear every 24,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers as well. Additionally, there is a brake fluid flush that needs to happen after your first year of ownership and every other year afterward. It generally corresponds with the major services. The last part of the major services is a test ride, hooking up to the GT1 again to scan for any error codes that are on the motorcycle and writing the confirmation. So, recapping a little bit. Pre-delivery check even before you pick up an F800, a minor running in check at 600 miles, a minor service at 6,000, a major at 12,000, another minor at 18,000, a major at 24,000, and on from there. Now, one of the items that I do want to touch upon quickly is this service due indicator. Prior to the implementation of this indicator, they were definitely hard values as to when you wanted to bring your motorcycle in. The idea behind this service due indicator is that the dealer, each time you bring it in for service, is to reset that value. So basically what you're going to see is you're going to be bringing it in every 6,000 miles. Now what you see in front of you now are items the American Motorcyclist Association recommends that you check each time you go out for a motorcycle ride. Generally they only take about two minutes to check. However, those two minutes might be the most valuable two minutes of your day. First and foremost is where the rubber hits the road. Check your wheels to make sure there is no damage to them and check your tires to ensure that they are properly inflated. Next come the controls and the cables. Give the clutch and the front brake a little bit of a tug to make sure they feel correct and make sure the cables coming out of them aren't wearing or aren't binding. From there, move on to the lights and the horn. Make sure your headlight, taillight, and side indicator markers are working, and make sure the horn actually works as well. Move on to oil and fuel. Fuel self-explanatory. Oil, you do want to check occasionally to make sure that you aren't burning any. Next up is the chassis. Hop on the bike, rock it around a little bit. Make sure that everything moves smoothly and slowly. After that is the side stand and center stand. Make sure that they are both down or up and make sure that they are going to stay there. With your pre-ride check now done, you're free to go out and have a fantastic ride and we are now free to stop talking about servicing.